All right, guys. Another beautiful morning on the homestead. A little chilly. About 38 this morning. What we are working on today is we have some logs. We need to finish the rafters back on the greenhouse there. So we need to cut two by fours, basically. I need a lot of two by fours for the rafters, for the purlins, and I think that's it. Um, but we got this pile of logs right here. Liz and I kind of did some measuring and between all these logs right here, we should have enough. This isn't a long one. This actually ends just up in there. Um, but between all these logs, we should have enough to cut two by fours. I think we figured we need like 18 at eight feet for the purlins and we need 12 at six feet for the rafters. Um, so I'm gonna start that. Cut these in half, so that's four, five, six, seven that are fairly usable. Then we got this other short chunk and this other really small one, but we could still cut that small one for like purlins or something. So I think we got plenty of wood here. I gotta go through with the chainsaw, cut some of these in half, take some of the little branches off. We got the sawmill warming up.
Works out perfect. I think now what we'll do is take a square and draw out the uh, two by fours. I actually messed up. I'm gonna spin this around. I wanna start at the small end. There we go. Got the small end there. We'll mark out some two by fours. Hi, June. Hi. 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 Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. Hi. Hi. Good morning. Watch out. I'm doing stuff. I'm doing stuff.
下。So we've been struggling. Let's see if you guys can see this. But down the left side of this board here, it's pretty wavy. You can see that it's wavy. And normally it's not like that. So I came in and I checked and it looks like this wear block is a little loose there and that's allowing the blade to move just a little there. So we need to tighten this up. Um, and yeah, it's letting the, the blade rise there. So Liz ran up to the house to Grab some Allen wrenches so we can get that tightened up. So today we are working on the rafters for the greenhouse. These are going to serve as, I guess, the outer sheathing to the rafters. I don't know like the proper name, but instead of plywood, these are all offcuts from when we built the chicken coop. Um, so these are about half inch thick by maybe two and a half foot long boards. And these are just pine, so I think it'll work out pretty good. We're gonna put these in the web of the rafters uh, to strengthen it give us some support then we have some hurricane straps instead of doing a bird's mouth we're just going to hurricane strap the rafters to the top plate um, as you guys saw we only did the single top plate just to conserve lumber i guess we'll see in the long run how well that holds up i've already got one of these cut this is my template so i'm going to go through i need at the minimum two four six eight i'm going to put one on each side we got four rafters um, so these are going to be eight these almost could be trusses, I guess. Depends on how you look at them. Um, but, so these are gonna be, I need eight of these basically. So we got 
16 of those cut, I believe that'll give me four for each one, making that, you know, web right there a total of almost four inches thick. So that should be plenty strong enough. What I'm gonna do now is cut my two by fours that I'm using for the rafters. These are true two by fours that Liz and I milled, nice and thick. I'm gonna cut them at about a, about a 33 degree angle. We're doing a 812 pitch on this roof, keeping it pretty steep. So that 33 is the spine right there in the center where these two rafters meet up. Um, I got six of them to cut, so I'm gonna get to that. All right, so I had already cut these off camera prior to all this to make sure this was uh, the right stuff. This was the right uh, measurements and everything. So what I'm doing is I'm pulling a cord measurement of 121 inches. I'm gonna make all of them 121 inches. I'm gonna double plate it with those plates that we just cut essentially uh, the, for the webbing, the gussets, whatever you would call those. I'm gonna put two on each side these are already a true two inches. Those are about half inch each. So that means we're adding two more inches. Let's see, no, one inch, no, two inches. Cause half inch, yeah, so two inches. There's gonna be a total of four inches right at the top there. I think this thing's gonna be plenty strong. We're gonna hurricane strap it on both sides on top of the wall. Um, but let's get this built and kind of see how it turns out. All right, guys, before we go any further, I want to thank the sponsor of today's video, and that is Truebill. Truebill is an all-in-one personal finance platform that helps you save more and spend less. The personal finance manager allows you to manage subscriptions, lower bills, check your credit score, and build your savings all in one place. A huge benefit from Truebill for me is they can safely and securely identify unwanted charges and unwanted subscriptions for you and then cancel them for you right there in the app with a tap of a button. I don't know about you guys, but I really don't like to see a recurring bill at the end of the month for a subscription that I didn't even want. And Truebill helps with that. As simple as uploading a photo and tapping a button, Truebill can negotiate your bills for you from internet service bills to cell phone and cable bills. You can also set budgets that automatically monitor your spending by category, get friendly reminders when you've exceeded them, and visualize your spend to earn ratio by month, quarter, or year. Also with Truebill, it's super easy to monitor your credit score. With complete access to your credit reports and history, Truebill alerts you to important changes that impact your credit score and offers you insights on ways to improve it. You can also set up a smart savings account. Choose the amount and the frequency and Truebill will automatically deposit savings into a smart savings account on the platform. You can withdraw at any time. To try out Truebill for free, go to www.truebill.com forward slash laid back living or click the link in the description box. I want to thank Truebill for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get back to it. All right, that is number four. That's the last one. I think I'm going to wait for Liz to get back to the house uh, and we'll tip these up. side at a time. I'm going to go right to your edge. Good. Um, about right there. 
So right away, Mike got his side screwed in over there and we came and looked and it was not centered at all. We forgot to take the measurements off of both of the overhangs. So we went back and did that and both the overhangs need to be like right at 12 and three quarters, maybe a little bit more to make it nice and even. And then like, just look down it and put it, so go to the back a little bit. That, right there. Okay, you have to go towards you. Okay, you got it for a sec? Okay. I love these animals. All right, guys, we're back at it this morning and pretty windy. Hopefully it's not too bad for you. Back at the greenhouse this morning. You can see we got just uh, three purlins up there last night, just as temporary. What I'm gonna start out by doing is marking each one of these rafters so I know exactly where each purlin is gonna set. You know, so I got a line to line it up with. I'm gonna go through, mark each one. We're putting them on two foot centers. Gonna cut the overhangs off, you know, cut all those flush and then see where we're at after that.
guys, we are back down here this morning. We need to fire up the sawmill. We have a bit more cutting to do. The purlin's up here. We need to add a few more. We didn't quite have enough. Um, on the bottom edge here, we need, I think, six more. We need some boards for the windows. We have the log already picked out that we're going to cut up. We just need to get that thing fired up. So let's do it. All right guys, so we have the rest of the purlins cut. We had another log that was about just the perfect length. So we got those purlins cut for this edge here, right here on the very, uh, I guess it'd be like the drip edge of the roof line. But first I need to get those cut up square, um, plum actually. I got them all marked out, fire up the Jenny and get those cut. Then we'll put these purlins up there. We're gonna overhang them off the edge and we'll trim both, ev yeah, we'll trim both edges two in even amount um maybe a foot or so overhang off each side and uh yeah i think that's about it i'm gonna get to cutting
Oh. That is perfect. We got all those purlins up just enough. Completes that phase. It looks amazing. Like mm -hmm. it's really coming together. It looks like a greenhouse. It's super cute. Yeah, super um, like rustic, really rough looking since we're doing all live edge, really thick boards, mm -hmm. um, really rust on. There's a fly on my hat. It came out really nice. Um, the problem, it's not really a problem. I think everything's going to tighten up when we go to put siding on it, but it is just a little shaky um, going the short way. The long way, it's very stout, and I believe that's because we have God, that fly. Um, a lot of two by fours going the other way. And, Going the short way, we have a lot of openings. Two windows and a door. And that one window, guys, is a really big window. I think it's mm -hmm. a six foot by five foot window. It's a metal flanged window. So right now we're gonna put that window in and hopefully that tightens it up a little bit. If it doesn't, um, I do believe that the siding should tighten it up also. For sure. Um, but let's get that window in. Yeah, let's get it. Okay, we got that first window in. It fit perfectly. It helped with the wobble and it looks really good. So that's exciting. Uh, Mike did a great job measuring, fit perfectly. We are gonna go out for lunch now and continue afterwards. All right, back down to the bottom. After lunch, Liz went into town. We actually need to pay a couple people. We got a load of logs back here behind me. So we need to uh, get those paid for. And we also, uh, what else is she doing? Oh, chicks, yeah, we got chicks coming in the mail. Um, so she was gonna run by the post office and, and get that all squared away. But after lunch here, I think I'm gonna start to work on some siding for the greenhouse. And we got this perfect ponderosa pine over here. I'll show you guys. So this is the pile of logs that we just purchased. This is all Douglas fir and um, tamarack, also known as larch. And this is all the lumber that we have harvested here from the property. So we got this one ponderosa pine right here. This is about 16 feet long, I believe. Looks like we got a little uh, something weird going on there. So I'll probably cut that off right there and mill the rest of it. This is about the perfect size tree for this mill, guys, this Harbor Freight mill. Um, we'll get a tape on that and see how big this is, but that's about just the perfect size tree to run through this mill. So we're gonna get going on that. We'll probably slice the end off here, like I was saying. Then check this thing out, guys. We got one of these massive uh, log tongs. So we're using that to pick up all these logs and uh, play that game. I already got it hooked up to the excavator here. I'll show you that. So we got these log tongs and they're pretty heavy duty. These were the biggest ones that Northern Tool offered. They uh, believe it's 3,300 pounds. Yeah, 3,300 pounds there. We got two shackles going um, to here and this is just on this big old uh, clevis i guess or big uh hook point on the bucket and you know that is plenty strong there lots of welds huge shackles this is a one inch this is a three quarter inch i think we're good to about ten thousand on the three quarter inch um so this should be plenty to get up here um hopefully it makes it a little bit easier to get them on the mill let's try it out
Okay guys, so we got all of those shiplap boards cut, loaded up into the truck, just drove it right over to the greenhouse, and now we got the boards up. Damn, so those things turned out to be just about 18 inches. Probably tapers a little smaller and yeah. That is a big board. That's cool. Big board. This is Ponderosa Pine. Harvested from right up here. Harvested from up here. The chicken coop is made with white pine and this stuff here is Ponderosa. So I'm interested to see what color this turns in the sun. You can see that the chicken coop over there got really yellow uh, pretty quickly. So I wonder how much this is gonna fade? I bet it'll be similar. Like dark, darken up. I like how it's turned the yellow. It looks cool. Yeah. Hopefully they kind of match. Yeah, we'll At see. Least the designs will match. Yeah, we can always like put some stain on it or something if yeah, we true. if we wanted to make it match. Yeah. Cool. cool. Let's keep going.
to poke the bear. It's not smart of you. <laughs> I live life on the edge. I'm not making dinner anymore. <laughs> I surpassed my... Stop! Seriously, I'll make tuna sandwiches. No! I'm tired. Who Same! So that worked out perfect, guys. We wanted to kind of keep going on this, but I figured this video is just getting a little bit too long. We got the rafters stood up, we got all the purlins set, and we started to get some siding up, like the exterior siding. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Oops. we think we cut up one chunk of that tree. I think we're kind of thinking it might be enough. We got the big pieces up, now we just have to go through and kind of do like the little more tedious, smaller pieces. A bunch of little ones. Yeah, I think the weather is supposed to be kind of bad here in the next few days. Uh, so we're going to play it by ear. I think we're going to go get the roofing so we can get that on there. Yep. And yeah, so like we're going to get the roofing like Liz said. And we're also going to cover the front um, gable ends here in clear plastic as well. And I think that'll let even more light in. Um, we have a couple strips to cut to use as the window trim to hold the other windows in, the other six windows. Um, mm -hmm. And then that front window here, we need to get it either cleaned up and or the glass replaced. Uh, we're missing one little chunk out of it. So we got to figure that out as well. But all in all, pretty good project. Yeah, stay tuned, you guys. We hope you guys, we hope you like it so far. More to come. Yes. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye guys, thanks. Will that do? I think that'll do. A little wobbly. Can you see it moving? Not really. I wasn't watching just now, but...